dear children we take our food our clothes and our shoes for granted have you ever thought how do these children live who don't have such basic amenities when they have to fight for survival today we have at our hand two stories of two boys under the title lost spring these are stories of stolen childhood by anis jung this these are excerpts from anis jung's book which highlight the loss of dignity and the loss of childhood and the fight for survival due to poverty and thoughtless traditions this describes the life and hardships faced by sahab and mukesh two boys in two different localities in india one in simapuri and one in ferozabad the first title is sometimes i find a rupee in the garbage this is the story of sahib a boy who is a muslim who has who has with his family migrated from bangladesh in the 19, in the 1970s as a refugee these refugees live as rag pickers in simapuri near delhi they are rag pickers and they roam around the streets from the morning to the noon picking up the garbage and then selling it for a reselling it for a livelihood the author meets sahab he is a rag picker a boy a small young boy he is a refugee as he tells him tells them and he is a rag picker then the author asks him why he doesn't go to school he says that there is no school in his locality had it been there he would have certainly gone the author then jo- jokingly asks him will you go to school if i open a school here he says yes and few days later he takes the author up on her promise she, he asks him have you opened the school yet and then she realizes that she has made a promise that she cannot keep and realizes that it is a wrong thing to do then she learns about his name that is sahib e alam and she wonders on the irony sahib e alam means lord of the universe and this lord of the universe had he been aware of his name would have really felt bad but he roams around with other boys mostly barefoot the children don't have shoes to wear or they don't want to wear it and they pass it on to a tradition that in india we are we have a tradition to walk barefoot and then suddenly the author remembers the a story about a priest son whose only wish was to have a pair of shoes to wear and he used to pray every morning in front of the temple in front of the god to have a pair of shoes but now that priest son has a grandson who wears shoes so for some people life changes but for some for most of the poor people she says life is at a standstill they are only fighting for their survival then she visits seema puri it is a shanty town it is it was a wilderness uh, first but the refugees built a slum there it is made of mud huts with only thatch roofs and the only point of survival they have is the ration cards the identity they have is the ration cards on which they get food and that is their only aim in life food a roof and survival they have no idea about any other pleasures of life or progress now sahib as all children wants to be comfortably off he says that he wants to be com- comfortably off he wants to enjoy his childhood he doesn't want to work like this and he also wants to learn tennis in his desire to learn tennis there is a hint of irony that he cannot ever reach that place tennis he can wear someone's handed down turn down shoes that a child rejects but he can never actually play tennis so this is the irony that the author wants to bring out and wants to jolt us out of our slumber and try to do something for these then a few months later she sees sahib carrying a steel canister a milk canister and asks her asks him what he is doing so he she, he tells him sahib tells her that he has started a job at a tea stall stand seller and it earns him rupees 800 a month and food for all three times so that is the maximum that he can achieve now he will for his life be at that tea stall he has become a bonded labor and has lost all his freedom the earlier sahib who was a rag picker was a free bird but now this sahib is a bonded labor and has lost all his spring in his feet spring in his walk so the author wants to emphasize that these children are caught in a vicious circle of bonded labor 
and they cannot even if they want to come out of this vicious circle this abject poverty and this state of hopelessness there's another story that is mukesh's story mukesh is a child labor in bangal factory in firozabad firozabad is the bangal hub of india all kind of bangles are made there all the people mostly all the poor people are there bonded labor in the factories and but this child he wishes to become a motor mechanic he wants to break through this circle wish a circle and become a what motor mechanic and he wants even to learn to drive a car but when in the end the author asks her asks him if he wants to learn to fly an aeroplane he says no he also realizes the limit of his dreams that he can make then he the author talks about the bad conditions in bangal factories these are not ventilated these are in dark there is dust there is heat and due to that bad conditions the workers have respiratory uh, disorders and even lose their sight because they're not used to the bright conditions outside all day long they work in the dark in the bangal factories but these workers on the other hand don't have anything else to do they don't know anything else they are not trying to learn anything else they are not trying to get an education because their circumstances are so bad that they they cannot fight them there are also very bad conditions in the living units in firozabad they are mostly unbuilt houses with wobbly doors and no windows and when the author visits mukesh's house she sees that a family three generations are living in a half built house which has very half uh, half built walls with thatched roofs the only utility there is a fire stove on which to cook food and some utensils she also realizes that they are forsaken they are taken in by the traditions which are now meaningless the daughter in law still she cooks for all the house she takes the responsibility yet she draws a veil when she sees her father in law and the father on the other hand is blinded because of the working because of the work in the glass factory and they have all accepted it as destiny that they were born in a caste of bangal makers and the only legacy that they can hand over to the children is bangal making because they cannot provide anything except a roof over their head and some food so this is the case of abject poverty where they don't even understand that their education can help them their awareness can help them fight these circumstances they have just passively accepted this destiny and they are not trying to work against it the irony of perception is also highlighted in the example of a girl getting married and wearing these red bangles which are a symbol of suhag yet she cannot see these red bangles and the red vermilion she has on her head because she will be probably sightless because of the working in the factory there is no progress in ferozabad no awareness there is a fear of police and political mafia and middlemen there is no courage they have lost their courage but here mukesh is an exception she he still has dreams and he is still going to learn to drive a car now the themes in this story are the miserable street uh, state of the street children the plight they have because they lose their basic right to enjoy their childhood due to the poverty they are born in they cannot help it they are first born in that thing the caste system and the childhood and then secondly the middlemen the politicians they exploit these people so the callousness of society and the political class towards these poor people are also highlighted and the need to end this vicious circle of exploitation which is only through education cooperative organizations empowerment and help can be done the title of this story the spring the lost spring is very very relevant why childhood is like the spring of our life where we have renewal growth and everything that is happy we are happy we are bright we are we are hoping to grow and these children have lost their childhood the spring of their life that is why the title lost spring